Hello YouTube, what is up? Commando here with a video, obviously. Uh, as you can see, we're in my bedroom looking at my computer monitor. Um, so I decided that I'm going to do a uh, collection display thing of my collection. Just a video of what I have on my figures and my computer. So that's all. I'm not going to do a room tour of everything, but I am going to show you my computer and my figures. So without further ado, let's... Uh that's my desk. Yeah, yeah, I know. So clean, so clean. And then below that, there is my computer uh, case with, you know, my computer inside of it. I'd open it up, but uh, that would just be a hassle because I have to unlock it because I locked it. So, yep, that's the left of it, the top. Do, do, do. This is the Thermaltake GT Level 10 Snow Edition uh, case from Thermal Take, very huge and awesome. Uh, it's actually so big and heavy that I actually don't have it on my desk because I fear my desk would uh, collapse underneath it. So yes, and then under here I have my uh, my pen tablet or whatever that I use to draw things on. Yep. Okay, so do, 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 do. This is my figure collection. Oh my god, so many figures. There is 70 in here. Or no, 67, because I have three that are still boxed up. Which is Mewtwo and Racing Miku, Figma 2011 and 2012. So, I'll start from the left case and work my way towards the right. So from the top um, shelf... Oh, I use diode or puck lights from Ikea, and these are Ikea Daytoff cabinets, so remember that. So yes, we have stocking Momohime, Panty, Makise Figma, well, um, what's her name? Miharu, that's her name, and uh, Sonico, nurse version. That was my knees. <laughs> One uh, shelf lower. Sorry about the shakiness, but I'm balancing on my ankles. Ah, uh, we have my Haganai, uh, I guess you could say shelf. We got Senna, Maria Kobito, Yodra, Monster Hunter Senna, Maid Yodra, and uh, Mirai Figma, which is kind of there for now as a placeholder until I get more um, Haganai figures, like my Senna at the end of next month. Shelf below that, we have Dark Magician, Samus Aran, Catherine with a K, Catherine with a C, both from Art Spirits, Rin Okumura from Blue Exorcist or Aono Exorcist, and the Shikibana Hime uh, Figma from Shikibana Hime. Oh, she, I forget her name. Uh, Hoshimura Makina, that's her name. Below is the bottom shelves. The bottom shelves are. Uh, I just kind of crammed all my little prize figures in here because they're not the greatest, and my. Uh, Alter Hitagi because she is just hard to put on a shelf right now because I don't have any other uh, Akamonogatari figures. So, yes, but that is that cabinet. So, we go over to the right. This is my first cabinet that I ever got, so the lighting I didn't really have a decided type or whatever. But, um, I tried to do at least some sort of theme to my each shelf. So, here we got, uh, Okabe Rintaro from none other than Steins Gate. To the right of him, we have GSE's Makise Akurisu. She's super expensive now these days. Uh, I actually only paid 50 bucks for her uh, on Ami Ami Prion for BB. Now she goes for like 120 at the same at the same condition. That was back in September that I bought her. The Black Rock Shooter TV animation version Figma. The Dead Master. OVA Figma and the Strength OVA Figma. Next shelf, we have the uh, Orimo shelf. That tape is on on the wall behind the cabinet, just to let you know. So yes, we've got a couple Kirinos here. We got the Kirino Figma from Good Smile Company, uh, swimsuit version Kirino from Quest Q. Another swimsuit version, Kirino, one sixth scale, no one seventh, no one sixth. Either way, from Kurobukiya, the 
uh, Memories of Akihabara version Kirino from Kurobukiya, and the Kuroniko swimsuit version to go with the Kirino from Kurobukiya, and then we have the ISA Aragaki from Kurobukiya as well. So yes, Orimo too good. Below that we have a kind of mix and match shelf with Bleach and uh, Durarara. Durarara. Anyway, we have uh, Tia Halibel, Ichigo in his Bankai from Mega House, Salty Sterlison from Alter, probably one of my favorite figures. And then we have Shizuo Heiwajima from Alter as well. And then below that, uh, I have these two Witchblade figures on the bottom because they're really huge and easy to see. Because it's kind of hard to see the bottom shelves of the uh, Daytov from looking at it because it's like on the floor. <coughs> so yes, we have the Haruhi Suzumiya Bunny Virgin and that is it. Those are the three that I have on the shelf. I really like those two Kotobukiya Musane is the one sixth scales. So this is probably my favorite shelf. Little NSFW, so you know. From the bottom right, that Jubei there. I told you I was gonna display her cast off when I did the unboxing. But yes, yeah, lots of red here. So we have Yoko, 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 Yoko. Front left we have the uh Yoko Neuromancer, the posable one. Her ponytail actually doesn't hold up on its own. It has a little attachment that you hold it up with. If you can see that. Behind there we have the uh, 5th Anniversary Yoko from uh, Sega Prize. Very, very high quality prize figure. Very impressed with that. In the middle we have one of my Holy Grails. The Bounty Hunter Yoko from Alter. Goes for an arm and a leg these days. So, yep. To the right of her we have Alter's Yomiko Sensei. Also a nice figure. And then in front of her we have Jubei Yagyu, red haired from Amiami Zero, the cast-off version. Next to her we have the Asuna Nendoroid from Good Smile Company, which you saw recently. And then below that we have this shelf. It's got uh, some... It's got Masane Yamaha from Orchid Seed and then a couple uh, Inoris and then Rosario figures. So, at the back we have Masane Yamaha from Orchid Seed in the Bikini Tan version. Hard to find these days unless you want to pay like 400 bucks on eBay. Next to her we have an Inori prize figure. It's actually kind of decent. I only paid like 8 bucks for it, so that was a good deal. To the right of her we have Kurumu Kurono from Orchid Seed as well. She is also cast off, but I kept her top on, you know, for some decency. Uh, in the front we have one of my Holy Grails, probably my favorite figure that I own. The um, Misere figure from Rosario Vampire. Uh, really, really super rare, hard to get these days. Costs an arm and a leg, and two ears and an eyeball. Next to her, we have the Inori Figma from Max Factory. She's rather cheap, actually. I got her for like 18 bucks. She was like 70, 70 percent off or something like that, 60 percent off. And then the uh, Inori from Good Smile Company. She gets a lot of flack for some reason. I don't have any issues with her. I, in fact, love her base. It's one of my favorite bases that I own. Um, I actually think terrain type bases are kind of dumb. I like them when they're more professional and more presentable. Just look at that. It's so nice. But yeah, Inori, Yuzuri, huh? Uh, I don't have any issues with her. People are bitching a lot, so they should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Quit your bitching. Okay. Below that, on the shelf here, oh, it's getting to focus. We've got the Supercell frame, brown frame Miku from Good Smile Company. The Yukata Miku Nendoroid from Good Smile Company as well. The Yuri, uh, Yuripi figure from Good Smile Company. This is actually all Good Smile Company, this shelf. And we have the uh, Tenchi Angel Beats Good Smile Company. These both are from Angel Beats, so yes. And then below that, on the very bottom shelf, we have Miharu from Girls Bravo again, Squid Girl from Kotobukiya, an Asuna prize figure, and another Asuna prize figure. That one's actually pretty great quality, this one's a little eh. But yeah, Demi Har is really nice too. So let me back up. So yes, that is my entire collection. Uh, if you want to know where it is in relation to my chair that I do all my unboxings in, that chair is right here, and there's my table. 
There's my TV. So yes. That is my uh, figure collection. And then if you want to see my wall scrolls, we got my Harvey Suzumi wall scroll by my computer. Uh, Yoko wall scroll. Asuna. Kokoro Connect. Angel Beats. And then a big Angel Beats one on my door. Hopefully you can see that alright. It's really, really dark. But yes, and then here's all my figure boxes. Oh lordy lord. Not even all of them, these are just some that I could fit in my room. The rest are out in the boxes. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, this is my Racing Miku 2012 Figma still in bubble wrap. I'm going to open that probably tonight. So, yeah, that is my figure collection. Um, thanks for watching. Don't really have anything else to say, except I have these two uh, model kits that I put together, uh, white and black Curum from Pokemon, and then, you know, a couple things like Figma bags and a thing that I keep some cast off stuff in and some extra parts and stuff, but yeah, so this is my Gigundas uh, figure collection with more on the way, um, I'm pretty broke at this point, so yeah, thanks for watching, I uh, appreciate all any likes and support, um, you know, I did this for you guys because I've already seen my collection, you know, multiple times because I see it every day. And if you're wondering about the lighting, I have Ikea Dioder Pucks and Ikea Dioder Strips in the middle one. I prefer the Pucks, though, because they, they just look more professional, don't they? As opposed to, like, these ones. But, yeah, I just I like the light they give off, and they just look more professional. And I just have them attached to the uh, each shelf on the bottom of the glass, and then I have the wiring running up the side of the display case, uh, twist tied to the bars, and then taped up to the top and out the top of the hole. Same thing over here. But yeah. So yeah, there's my collection. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, all that bull crap. Only if you want to, not if you feel like you have to, because then you're not watching my videos when I post them all the time. Feel like I'm out of breath. Alright. I'm done talking. Peace out.